Hi, I'm Ethan, I love muzzleloading, and this is everything you need to know about the Traditions Shedhorn. The Traditions Shedhorn is a Northwest legal muzzleloader as it utilizes a musket cap ignition and an open breech system that is required for states like Idaho and Oregon. The stronger, improved musket cap nipple here is designed to provide a more consistent, hotter ignition to work with the black powder substitutes that we see commonly used uh, for muzzleloading hunting applications, especially in newcomers like Pyrodex. The Shedhorn offers a double set trigger, enabling a few ounces of pull to accomplish the work that normally requires a few pounds. It has a 24 inch fluted Cerakote barrel with 1 in 28 twist rifling. It comes equipped with a Williams fiber optic metal sight system and an aluminum ran rod with brass loading jag and a premium blued finish. So while it has a percussion side lock action here, when we take a look at the breech area of the rifle, you're going to notice that it has a removable breech plug. This is something we see increasingly popular in modern inline style muzzleloaders because of its ease of use when it comes to cleaning and maintaining your muzzleloader. New muzzleloading enthusiasts are ever worried about corrosion from black powder and black powder substitutes. So a removable breech plug in a traditional style side lock muzzleloader brings the best of both worlds to a muzzleloading enthusiast. You can now remove this breech plug and clean it, scrub it down, and know that you have your barrel clean by visually checking all the way through the muzzle. This is something that people really complain about when it comes to traditional muzzle loading. And while it's not that difficult, having a removable breech plug like this is super smart in, in making it more inviting and more accessible for muzzleloading enthusiasts to step into the traditional side of things. Right now, the tradition shed horn is only going to be available in a 50 caliber version, but with that 50 caliber version, you have a wide array of muzzleloading projectiles and bullets that you can use because we have a one in 28 inch twist rifling here. Because of that fast twist rifling now, a muzzleloading enthusiast who is looking to hunt with a more traditional muzzleloader but maybe has a stock of modern bullets or maybe that's all they can find in their area, can use those same projectiles and develop a load with their tradition shed horn, removing some more of those infamiliarities uh, that somebody might have when making a, you know, a more harsh jump from the modern to the traditional side of things where you have to have totally new equipment and gear. The Tradition Shed Horn is gonna come in three different models with three different price ranges. YouTube does not like me talking about that, but you can check them out at ilovemuzzleloading.com or at Traditions. Now these are fully announced here from the SHOT Show 2023. I can talk about the different variations though. The base level model has stainless steel hardware and a black polymer stock like we see in many of our introductory muzzleloaders that are out there. Our mid-tier version here is going to include a veil camo stock. This is a very similar camo pattern to the rest of Traditions muzzleloaders with camo stocks out there. And the more premium or the top of the line, higher end uh, version of the shed horn is going to include a nice hardwood stock and blued hardware for a more more traditional look out of the shed horn. Overall, looking at the silhouette here, it looks very similar to some of Tradition's other entry-level traditional muzzleloaders specifically designed for hunting. We've foregone all of the brass hardware that you might see in a more traditional style side lock muzzleloader, and we have a more purpose-built, purpose-driven uh, rifle here to take out and take a beating during your hunting season. We have sling swivels on here to make it easier to carry, and we have a full-length ramrod included underneath the barrel. We don't know just yet when these shed horns are going to start shipping or be available at retailers, but several online retailers have said it should be later this year sometime. I think it's interesting here that Traditions is finding a new way to fulfill the Northwest legal muzzleloader requirements here. Uh, typically when it comes to inline muzzleloaders, we see manufacturers starting with their inline and then limiting features, I'll say, to bring it back to function more in line with some of the traditional style rifles and, and muzzleloaders that are out there. I don't personally have an issue with that. I understand that's the name of the game. You know, that's business, <laughs> you know? So I'm not making a statement on that necessarily, but what I think is neat here is that we see traditions you know, who have developed the Nitro Fire, which is, you know, I think quite possibly really, the most advanced style muzzleloader because it kind of starts to bend that barrier between muzzleloading and breechloading, to be honest here. Um, but we see them developing that and while people are saying that Traditions is trying to kill muzzleloading, we also have them saying, but wait, we're also developing a modern traditional style rifle that makes it accessible for new shooters, makes it easy to clean, but also fulfills the same requirements and functionally works the same way as her traditional, you know, pre-1890 style muzzleloading firearm, which I think is really neat. I think that's a neat 
thing they've done to kind of flip this over. I'm looking forward to, to some of the marketing materials here um, because I think it's really clever, personally. Now, I'm not paid. I don't have any dog in this fight here. I just like following these innovations and, and the developments here from these manufacturers because, like it or not, the hunting market for muzzleloading is the largest market for muzzleloading. Most muzzleloading enthusiasts enjoy their muzzleloaders for a couple weeks out of the year, and that's fine. I, I welcome that. I welcome everybody who wants to do that. Not everybody is going to enjoy muzzleloading year-round like I do and like many of you do. That's okay. Uh, but I think it's neat to see traditions now creating a new you know, column here between the modern and traditional. And again, like I keep saying, when I talk to people who are interested in muzzleloader hunting, Generally, they start out with an inline and they start working their way back in time. And traditions here with the shed horn, in my opinion, unbiased opinion here, not paid, has created a pathway, you know, an exit ramp that makes it that much easier for somebody to enjoy and engage in traditional muzzleloading. And I think that's really neat. They don't have to do that. We see muzzleloading manufacturers out there, uh, you know, casting traditional muzzleloading aside, which is fine. That's the business. But I think it's neat that traditions now is creating this little bypass for people who might be interested in traditional stuff, to take a step away and, and try something that's a little bit more traditional. Kind of closing out here, I really have a positive outlook about the tradition shed horn. I think that's a really clever release. I think it's a really clever development. And it's one that I didn't really see coming and I, I don't think that many of you probably saw it coming. I think it's a neat innovation to, again, bridge that gap between the traditional and the modern muzzleloading markets that are out there and the communities that are built up within them. Uh, and I think it's, neat to see traditions continue that dedication really to both the modern and the traditional side of things. I mean, that's business. They need customers to make money and to keep the company, keep the lights on. But I, I think it's nice. I think it's nice that they're balancing that. And I think the Shedhorn uh, could be a really neat version uh, for people to, to get out and try and, and experiment a little bit with the traditional side of muzzleloading and maybe get into it a little bit more. I harp on that a lot, but it's the honest truth out there. The number of people I talk to that are interested in muzzleloading, they got started hunting maybe with a modern muzzleloader. They start working their way back and they end up enjoying all that muzzleloading has to offer is, it's just, it's, it's crazy how many people out there that do it. So I, I encourage you to talk to some muzzleloading enthusiasts out there, get their perspective, uh, and let me know what you think about the Shedhorn in the comments. If you'd like to learn more, uh, I've got more about the shed horn at ilovemuzzleloading.com. I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.